take care of the Kevin Stewart Builds 250. And this is just an introductory video to my next part build, which is going to be the Fast and Furious uh, Don Toretto's Dodge Charger RT from the Fast and Furious movie franchise. Absolutely love the Fast and Furious films, um, even like Tokyo Drift. So that's how much I'm kind of into this. Um, at the time of filming, it was Fast and Furious 9 that's just come out. Hopefully, Fast and Furious 10 ain't too far behind. You've got the kind of spin offs now, the Hobbs and Shaw type movies. Um, but yeah, really, really enjoyed just kind of the, the madness of it sometimes with you know, Dom Toretto flying through the air, getting catapulted from a tank to catch someone mid air. It's just mad, but it's great and I kind of love it. Um, so, this will be the next build. Um, just It's 110 issues uh, for this build uh, to complete this. Dodge Charger. It's going to be quite a big uh, car, I think. It's going to complete quite a big model. And that's kind of the size of it. It's going to be about 10 centimeters longer than the Ferrari F40 up there. Um, so, yeah, I've got part one of this build. So, uh, I'm just going to get straight into it. So, let's uh, kind of get into the first part that's going to be uh, this next part of the build, the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger. Okay, so the parts are laid out here for issue one of the uh, Fast and Furious Dodge Charger. Yeah, can't wait to get into the next part build. Um, yeah, um, so all that looks really nice, actually really well painted. Um, nice, yeah, nice parts, nice metal, nice metal die cast part, obviously. Uh, even the plastic parts are kind of flawlessly kind of uh, molded. Yeah, looks really good. Free screwdriver, usually pretty useless to be fair, the free screwdrivers you get. Um, but yeah, really nicely kind of detailed uh, parts. Should look good, hopefully. So, um, yeah, going to get into this. Going to get into the build for uh, the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger and start all this uh, next next adventure off. So yeah, um, if you'd like to follow me, we'll uh, we'll start this all off. This will be issue one of the Fast and Furious. Dom Toretto's Dodge Charger. Okay, so first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on the bonnet. Uh, we're going to be getting this um, reinforcement part, this plastic reinforcement part fitted. Uh, yeah, it's always a good idea, and it does say this in the magazine to kind of lay down a nice kind of protective surface because that's obviously the painted part uh, I think it's just gonna be a case of kind of matching it up which is only gonna go one way isn't it and it's got all these um, areas where the screws are gonna go in obviously match it all up put it on and then it's AM screws and I think it's uh, quite a few of them it's two four six eight nine I think so yeah we'll be putting these on with the AM screws Okay, yeah, that was not too bad. Those screws didn't go in too badly. Nice and flush now. Uh, yeah, so that's just that reinforced part fitted to the uh, to the bonnet section or hood, just an American car. It is. Okay, so bringing over this part, which is the air scoop. Uh, well, we're just connecting up the two parts of the air scoop together. Ends up looking those two areas in there, as you can see, where that goes into, and that's those two areas going to be BP screws. screws uh, now it's the butterfly 
flaps and these are just pressed on onto the pins on the spindle. So we've got the spindle, looks like that. Yeah. And then we've got these three butterfly valves. Trying to work out how these go on. Okay. So they have got little holes in there. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's also got an arrow. You see that? Oh, there you go. So it's got an arrow. Now the arrow it doesn't say which way. It just says they've all got to be pointed in the same direction. Uh, and the arrow itself. Seems to be pointing outwards. And these are just a push fit. Okay, so they're pushed on, and the arrows, if you see them, all pointing in the same direction. Bring over the air scoop again, and the arrows itself will be pointed downwards and onto the spindle in the side slots of the air scoop. Side slots, I'm just going to fit in. That's one side. At the bottom of the air scoop, just like that, and the base of the air scoop. And it's a fit over this. We have got one that's got a hole. Let me have a look. Air scoop. Okay, so it's got some uh, locating pins. You can see those. Yeah, it's got some locating pins, and they're going to have to go into the centre ones of these. I guess they're going to go one way. Now that the other way holds them to line, I don't think. Just check that. Uh, yeah, that's right. So the holes will only align one way. And then that's attached with AP screws. Or all. I've got something printed on the front. That's then this is going to just as on to the assembly that we just have onto the air scoop itself. And then fit it in once again with some AP screws. Uh, and then it's identifying these little pieces here because they're all kind of a little bit different shaped the operating arms if you like or whatever you want to call them and putting them the right way around obviously so I'm 
looking at which ones this is one that's on the right angled one so it's got kind of a right angle on it as a piece uh, and identifying kind of which way around it goes and it goes that way around and we push onto this side of the flattened piece to the door to the top Other side, I'm putting the other two on the one that's like that, and the I'll come along with the spindle one. I guess the important thing was with these is getting them the right way round. So, on this one, which goes on first, we have a little protrusion needs to go facing rearwards. Like that, and this little linkage, maybe the bottom shorter piece, I think, going towards the bottom. Difficult to tell. So then we've got the, what it calls the EFI, the electronic fuel injection distributor which looks like that it's going underneath I think yep and it's going to be held on in an A piece I'm trying to work out oh, it goes back I think it goes like that is held on with an AP screw. Think. Or I can gather from the instructions. Going in the pulley spindle. Yeah, so you've got this part here. And this part here is going to get joined together. And they're going to be fixed on with AP screws again. They only go on one way because the, uh, screw, the, the screws are offset. We've then got lower cover back bracket, it's called. It's just aligning that. So it's got very difficult to see, but they're only kind of going one way, I think. There's AP screws. Front bracket slots at the end, so this is the blower case. 
and it has got some areas there that this is going to go into. If that's the right way around, no, I think it's got to go that way around. Difficult to tell. Uh, it has got areas there for the screws. So, yeah, it's not the right way around. It will fit, but not as well. It kind of goes that way around. Yeah. So, with the screws facing those areas there, and a few screws. You get the pulley onto the wire casing with an AP screw. And then just to complete the assembly, it says you just push these on. We've got the three lugs. One, two, three, three lugs, one, two, three, and they go onto the actual holes in the actual lower casing, and it's just a push fit. There we go. That was actually more difficult than I thought to get them all aligned and together. Supercharger, if you like. All done. Sure they're all uh, open somehow. Okay, so that was it for uh, kind of issue one of the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger. Yeah, just doing the uh, bonnet and that kind of supercharger part, or the first first part of that. Uh, the air intake scoop, etc. Uh, issue two, we have got. Steering wheel and first wheel. So yeah, just going to be assembling. Looks like yeah, uh, yeah. One of the steering, one of the, well, the first wheel, obviously, and the steering wheel. So that will be issue two. That'll be coming soon. So keep an eye out for that. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Hope to catch you again on this channel soon. Take care and ta-da for now.